Silva and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So, you know, I, I contemplate a lot. I'm always thinking and a lot of my thinking comes from when I'm drawing um, a lot of the time. I just sit there, I'm drawing, these thoughts are going through my head and just trying to discover things for myself. And as I discover them, I find what I want to do. I got some weird light to uh, keep shining, the, the clouds keep going on and on. So I'm just going to adjust that there, see if that makes a, a difference in this. Um, and I think just what I find uh, through all this, as I'm just contemplating a lot of things myself, where, where what is it for myself that I find true happiness? Where, where, where's my happiness uh, coming from? Where's all our happiness coming from? Uh, quite often, that's a lot of things I hear from people that they are unhappy, they are unfulfilled, and we're going to get that way. That's that's what happens. And I've discovered for myself that it's when I'm not actively engaged in some form of project, that is when I'm least happy. And I, what you have to do is, more than anything, is force yourself to create a project. Even though you may not be hired to do a project and you're not being paid for a project, your goal is to create that idea for that passion project of yours. I've mentioned it before in some other art class, and I think the most important thing you could do is imagine that you have everything, that you don't have to worry about the bills anymore. You've got all the money in the world. You won the lottery. Whatever happened, it just happened. You got it. What is that thing that you're going to do from every day now? Uh, there's a new show that, you know, The Last Man on Earth. I haven't seen it yet, but I've always loved that idea if you were the last person on the planet. What would you do? What would be the motivating factor to keep you going? You don't need to worry about anything anymore. You, well, you got all the things you want if that's what you want. If you want possessions, if you want the cars and the fancy houses and all that, you can have it. You can live wherever you want, do whatever you want. There, there's nothing anymore that you necessarily need to save up for what are you going to do? And maybe you say, well, why am I even going to create a book or anything else? No one's going to read it. Well, right. But it's with inside you and you got to get that out. So that's why I feel it's so important to create these projects. Force yourself, force yourself to do these projects. Force yourself to get better at doing something. Force yourself to create these new habits that you want that will change you in some way. I recently, uh, a few months ago, got involved in uh, a, a diet with my wife. I wanted to support my wife in, in her diet and I was so tired of all the diets she was going through. I'm like, well, enough's enough, you know, we've spent enough money on these diets and they just don't work. But we saw some friends who had results in their diet and said, okay, this is it. Wait, this is your last diet. I'm going to do it with you in order to support you with this. But also, I've never challenged myself before in a diet. So in, in a sense, I was forcing myself to do something that I've never done before. And what ended up happening as a result was I ended up changing my eating habits. Um, it, was it tough in the beginning? Yeah, first couple weeks. But it started to get easier and easier. And as a result, within nine weeks, eight and a half weeks, I lost 30 pounds. And it's just like, well, you know, some people said, are you, are you sick, man? Is something wrong with you? And it, no, it was by choice. But I realized the vital importance of forming habits and the habits change just through repetition. So by forcing yourself to create your own projects, Again, not worrying about the end result because that's oftentimes why we don't do things in the anyways because we're too caught up in what the result's going to be. What's the outcome going to be? If I do this and it doesn't work out, well, now I'm going to be depressed because now I'm going to be upset and, 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 I, and I can't do anything else and I'm not going to move forward anymore and it just, just didn't work out and I'm just going to give up. But if you can get to the point within yourself and through habit and this through repetition, through going through this process many times, where what happens is when that thing doesn't work out that you wanted to, it doesn't go the way you thought it would, but you're okay with it, that's when 
it doesn't matter. So what? So what? Look at the opportunities that you're having to even try it anyway. So that's why I just wanted to, uh, to you know, discuss today about just creating your own projects. Don't worry about the outcome. Um, you're going to find that your happiness coming back into the happiness is by taking action and doing something. And it's, the happiness doesn't even come from the accomplishment. You may be going through creating your own project. You may have developed your own series. You may have your own show. You may have your own books. You may have those things that you want, that you thought you wanted and go, I'm still kind of unhappy. I'm still not, you know, fulfilled. You're going to keep going through that the rest of your life. And it's only through the action when you're actually doing something is that true happiness. It's not even that end result. Because what happens after you finish with that, what do you do next? You just go, what's next? What's the next thing? So you're already searching again for the next thing. Um, and that's why it's through the process is where the happiness is at and doing those projects. I'm, I'm creating, and that's why for me, um, I, I think I create so many projects and I'm doing so many projects all the time is to fulfill myself, fill my own bucket. Otherwise, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm not going to be fulfilled. And that's why I do it, in all honesty, because it's exciting to me. I like, I like the challenge of it. I like to see what can happen, the adventure of it. And this is where the thrill, you know, really comes from. And that, that's the reality. So it, it's important to do that. Um, I just had, you know, I get these thoughts as I'm talking. They spin through my head and um, just try to think of these uh, other thoughts just so that I can make them clearer to you as I'm talking. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's do just get, just get something started. Just do it. Don't worry about the result. Enjoy the process. Don't worry about what other people are going to say. Don't worry about what other people are, are going to think about, um, you, um, get rid of those egos. <laughs> The ego is the biggest thing that is destroying so many, uh, that messes people. They get too caught up in themselves. They get too caught up in their, who they think they are and, and, and how people should perceive them. Or, and, and it's a horrible thing to work in a studio environment with uh, egotistical people. That's, that's the worst. That's the worst thing where they just think they're just better than you. And they think that they know what's right for you or, or everything else. And, it, and, it, and it's a killer and it destroys momentum and it destroys the energy of a studio environment, these egos. Um, and if everyone was just cool and just laid back and just let things be and know that it, whatever happens, happens, just chill. It'll make it fun for everyone. But again, I know that you can't control other people. You can't control other people's thoughts. You can't tell other people how to live their lives. Um, I think all you can do is just reflect on yourself and for yourself, just try to discover what actions can I take as a creator? What can I do that's going to work for me? What's going to push me forward and not worry about the rest of the pack and don't get so caught up and jealous and envious or anything else of these other people and focus on yourself. I think that's when the clarity for oneself will come, will come through uh, I know within myself, it was probably, I can't say how many years ago it was, but um, it may, maybe about, you know, I don't know, eight years ago or so, I decided I don't care. I'm not, everything that I'm doing, I'm not doing it for, and a lot of it was the animation, you know, people, um, because a lot of people that I came across within the industry, and I'm being very honest here, very cynical. Who do you think you are making your own books? What have you done? You know, who are you? Yeah, it becomes blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's about, again, it becomes the ego. And maybe the, 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 their friends or the schools they've gone to and they, they got this hierarchy and they think they're better. And you know what? Art is about having fun. There's so many different styles in art. There's so many different ways of creating and showing your art. There's no right or wrong way. There's a, there's a mindset. There's a philosophy. It's self-growth. We all want to grow. And that's why we do it. And we want to learn. 
this is why I teach. I know that I have a lot to teach and share. I'm never trying to impose my style upon anyone and saying that this is the absolute must way to draw. And if you don't draw like this, you're a failure. No, you know, it's just about creating new ideas, new exercises, new rhythms, new patterns, new ways, new approaches. And, and again, we've seen things that have been successful that aren't the best drawn things. I think what's more important than anything is just you having your right mindset and saying that I'm doing this for me. I do want to improve. I, I There's certain things that I know is missing in my artwork that I want to make better. And those are the things you work on. And those are the things you improve upon. But um, yeah, just just uh, relax. Relax. <laughs> um, force yourself to work on these projects. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about the outcome. Enjoy the day. Enjoy this life. Be thankful that you can wake up every morning and, and take a piss. Be thankful that you can hear and see, you know, if you, if you can. And uh, just be, I think, be grateful for what it is that you do have and stop worrying about all the things that you don't have because that'll mess you up. All right? I rambled on here, but it's our talk. And that's what I do. That's what we do. Just talk, see what comes out. I hope this has helped you. Again, check in every Monday um, is on my new art talks. Um, please subscribe. Would love that. And thanks again for watching. And I'll talk to you guys again next week. Take care.